Hi there, Taurus. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Taurus for the week of May 2nd. If this one really isn't resonating so much, Taurus, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. If you're involved with the Taurus, keep in mind that everything here could be reversed for you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my information down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20 for a quick reading. I have a $50 reading that's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube. It's a deep dive into a relationship or a situation. And for Taurus this month, I'm doing birthday readings. Those are also 50 bucks. If you are wanting a more intense reading, I have a 10 question, $75 reading. If you really have something complicated to figure out. All right, Taurus, we're looking at the overall. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify that in real time. Yes, that means shuffling and pulling cards. Uh, please like and subscribe for me. I post weekly on YouTube. If you want to get the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. If you're on an iPhone, it won't show up. You have to be on a desktop to see it because Google and Apple are fighting. All right. So there's a lot going on here for the overall energy. I see sort of two scenarios. Uh, for some of you, you have been doing a deep dive into your own psyche and trying to figure some stuff out about yourself with the moon here. Cancer and Pisces energy. Perhaps you have that in your chart or you were dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. The moon is things that are hidden. It's our shadow selves, our fears, our anxieties. Um, it's really doing a deep dive into your own maybe fears. Um, maybe you're doing like like the shadow work on yourself, trying to figure some stuff out. For others of you, you are dealing with someone who is really hard to figure out or were dealing with this person. And you're trying to figure out just what the heck this person wants, what they feel, what's going on. Because we also have the high priestess here, Pisces energy with that card, lots of Pisces showing up here. The high priestess is hard to read. Um, she can be someone who knows a lot, but says very little. So it can be someone who's a little bit guarded or secretive, not necessarily in a bad way. Sometimes it's just someone who kind of keeps to themselves a little bit. High Priestess is always about your intuition as well. Some of you have been leaning into your intuition hard, trying to figure out who you are, where you're going. We've got the Five of Swords as well. Sometimes the Five of Swords is conflict. It can mean like an inner conflict or conflict between two people. Sometimes it's a, this is particular, this card, you see the shadow behind him. There's a little bit of a shadowy vibe here. Sometimes we lie to ourselves or we're not completely honest to put it a different way. We prefer not to think about some things. The moon is often that card about like the basement or the attic where you put things where you don't want to deal with them. And we've got the three of wands here, which is being patient. It's waiting for your ships to come in. For some of you, you're trying to figure out why you're not in a commitment. And we'll get to your oracle cards in a second. That's about the commitment. You're trying to figure out like, why the heck am I still single? Or, you know, why do I attract these jerks that just don't, you know, they're not interested in what I'm interested in. For others of you, you're trying to figure out, does this relationship have a future? Like, am I, am I getting anywhere? Do I need to be with this person? Do I need to be with somebody else? Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. It's, it's being patient. It's waiting for something that is heading towards you. For some of you, you're also manifesting and you're asking the universe for something, which is something I recommend to everybody. Don't sit and wait for it to happen. Make it happen. Um, this Three of Wands is also associated with a long distance relationship. So for some of you, this is a long distance relationship. All right. All right, let's deal with the oracle here. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I do think you have a commitment coming in here. We also have wedding. The situation involves marriage. Now, don't go too technical with this. Like we're in wedding and engagement season. You may be going to an engagement party and meeting somebody or you're at a wedding and meet somebody or you are in fact in a relationship that's gonna move to that next level. 
All right, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. That goes back to this three of wands. Because I think for some of you, you're sick of waiting. You're like, where is this person? Where is this going? All right, now that I've rambled on, let's go ahead and check out their energy. Okay, Taurus. Ooh, all right, look at all of these major arcana. Major arcana are big energies. It's life-changing. It's um, shifts of energy coming in for you. We have one of your major arcana here, the Empress, Taurus and Libra energy. She's the divine feminine, the wife, the mother. Again, there's a little bit of like a commitment vibe here, settling down with somebody. The Empress is also maybe somebody finding you very attractive. It's also nurturing yourself, caring for yourself. Um, I feel like Maybe you are manifesting, maybe you are doing shadow work, maybe you are trying to figure out who you are, where you're going, what you want, because we've got the star as well, Aquarius energy, being wishful, being hopeful. There's also a manifesting vibe with this, asking the universe for something or being patient and waiting for this thing to coming, like to come for you. You're, you're wishful, you know that eventually this is going to happen. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, lots of water in this reading. Queen of Cups is also highly intuitive. Um, she's also a very loving energy. So you could have a water sign coming in for you, a water sign in their chart somewhere. Specifically, I would look at the moon and the Venus. You have water in your chart here. Or this is someone coming to you and being loving, being open. I feel like you're on the edge of a big change here. We've got the world, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. There's another major arcana for you. The world in reverse is like, it's a delay in ending a cycle. It's a, a cycle about to finish for you so that you can start something new. You're close. You're so close here. The world is also a card about travel. Some of you, you're traveling and maybe meeting this person. Three of Wands is also a travel card or a long distance card with the world here as well. It's also about like lessons learned. The world is becoming more worldly. Maybe you've learned a lot about yourself and now you're ready to level up in your life. We've got the Tower, Scorpio energy. There could be a Scorpio in the mix. The Tower is something, it's destruction for the sake of creation, um, it's a big, it's a big boom. You have a big change coming in. The tower can be disruptive energy, but ultimately the tower always moves you to the path where you need to be. And if you think about it, uh, starting a serious relationship with someone is kind of disruptive, right? You're altering your routine. Um, maybe letting someone into your space. You're thinking about a future with this person versus like your own future. It's, it's disruptive, but in a good way. And we have the sun, Leo energy. This could be someone revealing their feelings to you, someone letting you know how they feel. The sun is clarity. It's also warmth and happiness. I just get a sense that there's a big reveal going on here, that feelings are coming out uh, and offer is being made here. Um, there's a sense of this huge relationship or a commitment coming in, maybe a new person for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the Tarot of Mystical Moments on the table. And I'm going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot to clarify it, Taurus. So tell me about Taurus's person. Okay, so we've got this three of swords. That's heartbreak, it's heartache, it's pain, a disappointment. I think either you have had a bad cycle with this person, you had a painful ending, or you've had a lot of pain in the past. You've had relationships that didn't work out. You had people that disappointed you, and you're sick of it. All right. So three of pentacles is waiting for your ships to come in or three of pentacles, excuse me, that was the three of wands. Three of pentacles is conversation, collaboration, cooperation. This is somebody actually working with you on the problem. This is someone who wants to date you. This also could be a friend of yours. Three of pentacles is a friendship card. It's also an office card. 
This could be someone that you work with here, but this is somebody who's working with you and not against you. They want a relationship. They want to talk about their feelings maybe or where this relationship is going. And the five of cups in reverse. Five of cups is letting go of the past. It's letting go of what is lost. Uh, being willing to move forward. I think it's part of that world card in reverse here. It's letting go of a cycle, being able to move forward. Tell me about Taurus's person. All right, so we've got the Ace of Swords. This is truth. For some of you, this person is going to tell you that they're in love with you and it's going to shock the hell out of you with the tower. Um, for others of you, it's a relationship that comes in. This person is serious. And again, it's going to... Ace of Swords here is a revelation. It's something that comes out of nowhere. The sun is also about clarity. And that tower is a shock. It's something that kind of stuns you. So I do think there's feelings. There's someone who's saying that they want a relationship. There's probably a very serious relationship coming for you. And we have the Queen of Swords. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. Um, it's being a little bit head over heart, a little bit standoffish. For some of you, you were dealing with someone who was very quiet and hard to read. You had the High Priestess earlier. For others of you, maybe you've been a little bit guarded when it comes to love. Maybe you've been setting boundaries with the Queen of Swords. You've been protecting yourself. Or you have some Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in your chart here. Queen of Swords can be a little bit... Uh, she doesn't put up with fools. Let's put it that way. She's got no time for you if you're a fool. All right, let's do one more card here. And then I'm going to do a little preview of the extended. We'll figure out how this person is feeling about you. Tell me about Taurus's person. <laughs> All right. Ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're ending a cycle here, a really painful one. This is being able to let go of like being backstabbed. For some of you, you dealt with people who they were a mess. They didn't want a relationship with you. Maybe they hurt you. Maybe they um, cheated on you. Particularly with that everything is fine card of the Ten of Swords in this deck. Um, it's someone, you know, literally stabbing you in the back. You're letting go of all that and welcoming in something a hell of a lot better. All right, let's pull a card for how this person feels about you. All right, welcome to the extended preview here. How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person or will this person feel about Taurus? Well, you got two instead of one. How about that? <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. Hold on. How do they feel about you? They feel you're valuable with the Ace of Pentacles, that they just won the lottery. Uh, they feel like this is a connection that they want to work on. This is something they want to give time and energy and effort. They want to invest in you and invest in this relationship. The chariot is cancer energy. So there is a lot of water showing up here. For some of you, it's a water sign. The chariot is someone wanting to move forward with you. Um, again, there's a travel component to that card. It's meeting someone while you're traveling. It's someone who maybe travels for a living. Maybe you travel for a business. Maybe this is a long-distance relationship. The chariot is also being upwardly mobile. Um, I think of it as the card of like chasing something, trying to get your, your stuff. Like you want the good job and you want the house and you want the car and you want the kids. This is someone who is like not, oh, I don't know if I want to settle down. This is someone like, yeah, let's settle down. Let's buy a, a house over here. Let's, you know, have four children. How does that sound to you? It's someone who has their stuff together. They know what they want. So you're getting something good here. This is someone who's not going to give you the runaround. All right, Taurus, thank you so much for watching the preview. If you want the rest, click the join button down below. 
It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign. If you're on an iPhone, it won't show up. You have to be on a desktop. All right. Blessed be.